Clark here, and this video is on the 2022 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 3A. And in 3A, where we have a um, review on a website um, where users input their review. So it's represented by this object, which has an integer for the rating and a string for the comment. Okay, the comment field of the review ends with either a period, an exclamation point, or a letter, or it's a string that's blank. So that's the condition of comment. And let's see, so C is not null. Wait, wait, so this review, okay, so making a review, so normal constructor, maybe if you forgot how to do constructor on part two, this might help you out a little bit. Um, what else do we need from this information up here? We have an accessor method, get rating. We have another one, get comment. And again, they gave us the actual code here. Normally they would hide this. They would say this the code is, um, uh, what does it say in the part two? Implementation not shown. Usually they do implementation not shown, but they're showing it this time for some reason. Mm, but we only have to use the um, dot get rating or dot get comment. Okay, the scenario or the code that we wanna write is in the review analysis class. So we have methods to analyze the reviews provided by users. So we're gonna write two methods. Okay, so we have review analysis. Look, so we have a nice, um, just a normal array, all reviews, and it's set up in the constructor, which you don't have to worry about. Here we go, implementation not shown, don't worry about it. Um, and then in part A, we have this get average rating. So what is get average rating? It returns a double, um, getting their average. So add them all up and divide. It looks like a normal average, um, but we have to do the accessor methods using the array. Okay, none of them are null, so don't worry about that. Okay, so for part A, like I said, so we have a bunch of um, reviews. So we have five reviews. If you add them all up, four plus three plus five plus two plus three, and then divide by five, we'll get 3.4. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad for 3A. So, but first off, as usual, I have to return a double. So I'm gonna say um, double matching, if I can type double result. And I'm gonna start, it's like the sum, I'm gonna add them up first, so I'm starting to get a zero. The additive identity, okay? Then I'm gonna loop through all the um, items. So just a normal uh, array loop. I less than, and then what's my array called? Okay, uh, right there, all reviews. So all reviews dot length, I plus plus. So normal um, array loop. And I'm gonna add them all up. So any conditions or just add them all up? Nope, just add them all up. So I'm gonna say result plus equal. So I need to get the current element. So all reviews bracket I, like normal. So all reviews bracket I. And then if I look at my review, I need to access the review by using dot get rating. So dot get rating. And that should do it. So there's my value, getting that integer number, and then I'm adding it to the result. And now remember average is the average. So I'm gonna return um, the sum, which is currently the result, divided by the number of elements. How do I know the number of elements? Uh, that's just the length. So array all reviews dot length. And again, since it's already double, I don't have to worry about the decimals. It's, it already has decimals, so we're good. If you set up it, set it up as an int, which you shouldn't because it says double right there, so double, double right away, or whatever it is right here, should be whatever it is right there. Um, but I don't have to worry about the um, integer division or anything like that. Um, you could have casted it, but this should work. Let's see if it works. Okay, looks like it works, and the matter code is already done, so I'll have to delete that before the next video.